Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. I'd like us to look at how God's love covers us. God is love, and all love comes from God. And we love because God loves us. 1 John 4, 7 and 8 says, Love comes from God, for God is love. God loves you so much that he sent Jesus on a mission of love with a message of love. The Bible doesn't say God has love. It says God is love. Love is his nature. God is love. God created the entire universe. He created this planet. He created the human race. And he created you because he loves you. 1 John 4, 19 says, we love each other because God loved us first. God is always first in everything. He takes the initiative. The only reason we can love God or love anybody else is because God first loved us. He showed us that love by sending Jesus Christ to earth to die for you. He showed us that love by creating you. He showed that love by everything you have in life. It's a gift of God's love. We love because God first loved us. Sometimes I'll talk to people who grew up in church who are kind of down on themselves, and they always feel like they're not measuring up. They feel like they're not pleasing God and that God is always angry with them. They're always carrying this load of guilt around the whole time. I've heard many people say this. My problem, Jerry, my problem is I just don't love God enough. And I say, no, that's not your problem. Your problem is not that you don't love God enough. Your problem is that you don't realize how much he loves you. If you realize how much God loves you, his extravagant, irresistible, unconditional love, you would have to love him back. You could not not love God if you understood how much he loves you. You would automatically be attracted to him. The reason you don't love God, you don't care about God, you don't serve God, you don't understand God is because you don't really feel or understand how much he loves you. Let his love be a banner over you, like a blanket covering you. How would understanding God's love for you impact the way you lived, impact the way you saw God, impact the way we see the highs and the lows in life? You were made to be loved by God. That should make this a great day. Listen, as your pastor, I'm going to be praying for you this week. I hope you'll go make it a great day today. God bless.